Hi, I would like to show you ZPM Explorer, a graphical way to use ZPM. So first let's open the application. The application has two pages, the Explorer page and install an app, app package page. Uh, let's first take a look at Explorer page and at its num suggest um, you can search for packages here by keywords. So let's say once you find for CSV solutions and I have someone or REST solutions I have a lot of them or terminal solutions and here I have an interest one web terminal let's install it and just wait for a few seconds okay now I have the web terminal installed uh, this page also provides you a link for the package documentation so you can find how to use the package and in the case of the web terminal you just need to duplicate it, the, 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 the tab to get the base URL and paste this suffix and now you have web terminal running. Okay, so now let's take a look at the installed page. Here you can see all packages installed in current namespace uh, and you also can update package, delete package and export a package selection for as dependencies for a new um, CPM module, a CPM package. So let's say I want to update this package, CSL, SSL client, and I get the warning message say I can't update because actually I have the last the listed version so let's simulate a, a, a situation when I where I can run the update so I will install let's say CSV gen uh, first let's take a look in the explorer page to, to see the current version of CSV gen which is 1.1.11 so let's install uh, a previous version, so which is 1.1.10, for example. Let's wait a few seconds. Okay, let's come back to install package page. And now I have CSV in a preview version, so now I can update it. Wait for a few seconds. Again. And okay, now I have the latest version. Uh, you can also delete packages. Let's say I want to delete CSV gen and web terminal. Okay, packages was removed. Uh, now if I if I tr if I try to update web terminal, I I have an error because we haven't ter web terminal anymore in my namespace. And a last feature is export a package selection as uh, as dependencies for a new ZPM package so you can if you want to uh, use the, the ZPM package for your new package you just need to cop paste in the file in a mojo XML file fill the 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 fields here and you have the selected package as reference as the, the as dependence for your new CPM package. So that is thank for watching.